So, welcome back, everybody. We are playing more Lies a Pee Pee Poo Poo. And as you can notice, um, I went through a little uh, glam up, butter up, if you will. We have a, a brand new VTuber um, out and about. I'm a, <laughs> out here in my bread scan. Uh, anyway, we got a, a whole new series of expressions that I can work with. Oh, my. Oh, my. We're back with the Laz of P. And last we left off, uh, we had killed the puppet king in the opera. And then Geppetto was like, good job, my sonny boy. And now we are supposed to get what's his face, like the big baddie, the, the biggest a baddie who's like in charge of all this nonsense, the guy who was like maniacally laughing earlier. Uh, it has been a few days, by the way, y'all. I hope everyone had a happy holiday Thanksgiving or whatever the hell you're doing uh, over the last few weeks, last few days. Um, yeah, let's fucking do it. Uh, the last boss took us a hot minute. It was definitely a toughie. I don't know how far we are. Um, but we also got a record. We listed some tunes. We might be coming a real boy as we speak. There still hasn't been a whale. Let's go find it. I actually, hold on. Let's see. Because, like, last we left off, it was, like, at the back of the opera. And then Geppetto was like, great job. And we're like, how'd you get here? And he's like, don't worry about it. Oh, shit. My, hold on. My fruit's ready. Everyone, stand back. Stand back. How did the king fight go? I somehow managed to stun him with electricity and just shut him down. I mean, it took me several tries, definitely the most amount of tries so far. Um, but eventually I got him. You know, I, I brought the summon in and I was shocking him left and right. Um, it was really the second phase. Like, first phase, we obviously got through several times. Um, second phase, uh, the, you know, he goes fucking crazy bananas on you. And if you get stun locked to high hell, and you just get killed. So it was, yeah, he is a toughie. <clears throat> <laughs> Hunting whales, what are we? A predatory live service? Oh, that was good. That was solid. That was actually, that was solid, Gola. <laughs> whales? Why don't you, why don't you roll for some loot boxes? <laughs> All right, yeah, we got fruit. I don't know why I came in on the other side of this. So I can just pick it on any side. All right, teleport to, st let's go. Yeah, we, we had done it. We're in the opera house. I'm going backstage. See what the hell is going on. Literally clicked on this stream right as Bun said, so, like, I'm watching the VOD. I take a lot of pride in my starting of the VODs. Thank you. Welcome on in. Yeah, for people who, who do watch the VODs and not so much can't make the streams, it's all right. Thank you for watching the VODs. But uh, I do always, uh, you know, we cut off, like, the first 30 minutes of every single stream. We'd be talking about stuff. So, like, when we started off, it's like, now we're video gaming. But we just hang out sometimes here. You know, we're just vibing. Anyway. Um, so, nice place, clearly fire resistant. I don't know, it's not spreading. Um, <laughs> I'm just, sorry, I just want to admire it again, because, like, when we came in here, they were putting on the little play, and, like, stuff was getting weird. Uh, Wait, really nice place you got here. Should I give Dory a this is like dinner in a show. Oh, shit. Crap, thank you for the dollar. We're looking for a whale. Should I give Dory a call? She speaks whale! <laughs> Oh, I love Dory. Yeah, let's get Dory in on this. Put put Dory in like a little uh, fishy bag and like attach it to my hip. Dory, speak. All right, now we're, okay, back in the rain, back in the vibes. Honestly, quality craftsmanship. The fact that I don't rust up in any of this, we do be burning. All right. <clears throat> Blew this, uh, the phantom summon up a few times in the process. Yeah, I, I, I do not think twice about bringing summons into uh, my games. Um, and I do appreciate how uh, the fact that there's basically one for every single fight here and it's always like, you know, in the same spot. Um, like compared to like Dark Souls where you can bring summons in for a majority of the fights, but the summons are normally like in a random place, not, not particularly close to the boss sometimes. Um, and they're missable, so I appreciate how more straightforward this game is. This game is also not nearly as hard as a from, like a, a traditional quote unquote from soft game. I don't think that's a problem. I don't I think this is a very solid, uh, great difficulty. I don't need it to like bust my balls. I just need it to make me like, you know, think about the RPG, like my min-maxing my build. Um We <gasps> We Who's playing the accordion? Ah, oh, this reminds me of my time when I was in Paris. It was, I saw the most Paris thing, the most French thing I could have seen. Ani and I were walking 
uh, uh, to, to go to a, uh, a lunch, and we were literally passing the Eiffel Tower, um, and in front of the Eiffel Tower was a woman playing the accordion with a giant chow chow dog with heart sunglasses, and as we passed her, she just said, bonjour! It was the most French thing I've ever seen. It reminds me so much of this. Ma'am, where's the accordion? I'm here for the tunes. Oh, I need to get my little rope. Oh my god, who's really... They, I think they're up there. Yeah, they're fucking it up. Okay, I gotta remember how to play the game a little bit. Beaks up. What the fuck? I'm sorry, is... They put a saw on the dog's face?! That's kind of fucked up. Ooh. Also, for the record, gamers, um, okay, brand, brand new butter uh, VTuber skin going on here, freshly glossed up. However, the programming it's a little funky. I technically can't switch the w switch my expressions until I'm clicked off the uh, the game. Um, so uh, forgive me if, I, if I'm a little static today and stuff. I'm gonna try to fix it later. Um, I didn't realize it was an issue until like right before I went live. Um, so uh, I will I will definitely utilize my faces uh, when I'm not constantly like under attack. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? All these puppets look utterly down, depressed. Even. <laughs> depressed. And that seems weird. That's weird, right? I don't know. Were they not depressed before, Jiminy? Uh, what, was there puppet euphoria I wasn't picking up on? Hello. The accordion. Is, is really making me nervous. I, I don't want it to, like, when it stops, I'm like, <gasps> yeah. That's, that's not Saw. John Kramer would never hurt an innocent dog, yeah. I'm so scared of, like, basic walls in this game because there are so many instances where the enemies just burst through the wall. Puppets out here with depression. They're evolving. They're fucking depressed. <laughs> My god. How's the game volume, by the way? Also, let me actually adjust something really fast. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, I hope everyone, at the very least, would everyone, would, would you all munch on for Thanksgiving? It doesn't be Thanksgiving food, it can be anything. Yeah, we had, we had lechon, we had uh, cra crab rangoon, uh, uh, what else? Um, we got... Uh, big charcuterie board. It was amazing charcuterie board. Anya's mom knows how to style a charcuterie board. They seem ham? I love me some ham. Then again, maybe... Maybe they're warning him? It's Gucci? Fantastic. Whatever's happening. Wet stuffing inside of an asshole. Oh my... Sockets. I'm not ah. even sure they can function without the king to guide them. Liza B... Oh my god, Spooky. Hey, how you doing, mama? <laughs> Welcome in! What are you doing? How are you up the- wait, I don't know what time you go to bed. All I know is that you're always streaming like four in the morning. Good morning! Uh, someone's saying the boss in this game suck and his tactic was brute force in the boss and not actually properly playing it in as intent- oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, like, okay, I, I, I can understand- it's hard to say, like, if a boss is bullshit off the cuff just because, like, you know, you're not good yet. Um, but it's like, if you're, if you're literally not blocking in this game, you are playing it wrong. Sorry, that's just, that's just how it rolls. Like, if you, like, I understand, you know, FromSoft brain worms, where it's like, oh, this plays just like a FromSoft game, so I'm gonna play it exactly like one, and not even engaging with the mechanics. It's like, yeah, you're setting yourself up for a dick slamming session, you know? I'm sleeping? Oh, okay, I hope you're cozy in bed. Welcome in, though, man. <clears throat> Actually, hold on, I just realized. One second. I always do this so I can keep track of people because I have bad vision. One second. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Bada bing, bada boom. You can't be mad at a game if you're uh, ignoring basic game. Okay. Yeah, which is why, like, I'm not super quick to judge and say, like, oh, it's bullshit. Uh, I was, however, playing Dark Souls 2 last night for funsies, um, and uh, I was in, uh, uh, certain parts of that game don't feel like bullshit, and because I've played it, like, ten times, I feel confident enough to say that. But this is, like, you know, like, the bosses have been tough in some cases, but, like, if you just get good, <laughs> hate to be that person. <laughs> like, there's some stuff, there's some bullshitty things I don't particularly like about other, you know, FromSoft games, like Sekiro, for example. I think, Sek I think the fear thing in Sekiro is bullshit and bad. 
Um, I, I think what it should have done, because what it, you know, it's a status ailment that insta kills you, which is like great. Um, but what I think it should have done instead is that when you get the fear inflicted on you, it reduces your health to one. And then if you get hit, then you insta that. Yeah, obviously you're like one hit away from death. I feel like that way it gives you a little chance to recover from it at the very least, you know? Because the only way to stop fear is to preemptively, you know, give yourself the little boosts. Why is the light here? Hello? Books? Oh, these are soggy. Oh, this is gonna get moldy? Ew. This is so cute. Look at this little... We Missed the accordion. It's gone. <clears throat> Getting war flashbacks that battle for bikini bottom review. <laughs> yeah, I don't... That, that is just... I just want to chop up just, you know, game, gamer journalism brain and then also like, ugh, it's a kid's game. It's stupid and bad. No, but in this case, like, I, I know review-wise, this game has been reviewing really positively. It's just, like, I, I don't doubt that there is, you know, a handful of players that have played it, you know, brute-forcing it, not blocking, dodge-rolling, thinking there's a bajillion iframes, and be like, why is this game so busted? You know? Yeah, just back up. <laughs> just back up. There are a few bosses that just don't feel uh, fun to fight, whether or not they're bullshit. I don't... Yeah, exactly that, you know? And that's, like... Yeah, there's no objectivity in this stuff, but you know, what is objective is that if you watch someone play and they're not using everything, it's like, well, you're not being a very good player. <laughs> it's not even a matter of like, if you like it or not, like you're clearly just not using everything. So, you know, cause I, I don't want to be like judge, jury and executioner on if your video game is good or not. You know what I'm saying? If it's good video game design or not, it's hard to say. It's a case by case basis. Cause some games, some bosses that are absolute bullshit for people are like really fun for others. Oh, God. Mama, where'd your head go? Oh, why is she so beefy? Too? Ugh, okay. You know what? I'm not about it. Why is she so tanky? What was up with that? Also, uh... Caroline, thank you for the 27 saying, sup, gamers. Uh, we lying good today? I don't know if you'll, um, you'll be streaming on Monday, in case you aren't. It's my birthday, 27... Oh, 27?! Oh, hell yeah. Okay, a preemptive at the very least. I might be streaming on Monday. I want to stream some time tomorrow as well. I'm going to catch, make up for the, for the holiday. Hold on. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? A preemptive! Happy birthday! For the 27 months, for the 27 years. Oh my god. Thank you so much for being around, But You're such an amazing regular. Thank you. Hmm... Hold on, I'm gonna catch up with chat. Souls likes taught me to how to be strategic and not go all Donnie Thornberry on. <laughs> well, we were talking about that last stream where it's like get the approach of these games is supposed to be open ended. That's the whole point of an RPG is to you know go about it your own way. Um, but you know I'm someone who really does try to have an efficient build because that makes a big difference for me. Um, and some folks are just like again, brute force. They like you know severely under leveled just uh skills based dodging weaving you know mem uh, memorizing the attack pattern and i'm especially with the games that's like you know number go up um i'm always of the mindset of like clearly i'm getting slammed in i will leave i will come back and be stronger and i will beat the boss uh by sheer uh number wrath alone <clears throat> uh since you asked, starters is a pot of little smokies, different kinds of crackers, cranberry, goat cheese, some Chex Mix, meatballs, dinner, a whole ham, cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes, gravy, mac and cheese, broccoli, casserole. Oh my God. This, this is like that one song where they start listening to my foods. Yams, stuffing with, stuffing with and without meat, a vegan turkey option, rolls, and I believe one to two other dishes I'm not recalling. Dessert, pecan pie, pumpkin pie, apple bar, sweet potato pie, uh, pumpkin bread, and two different icings. Oh my, first of all, um, Holy shit! Whoever got the leftovers from that is eating good for the rest of the week. Honestly, it's one of my favorite things about Thanksgiving is the leftovers. And Ani and I, because we hosted, we got the leftovers despite not making the food. So, to freedom! <laughs> so we got a whole fridge with the leftovers, and I haven't gotten groceries at all this week. <clears throat> Let's see here. Okay. Arcade, am I reading that right? Are we gonna be gamers? Oh my god. We're gonna be puppet gamers. This is why you offer to host someone wants to take that shit home. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, and this is our like the time where you know our our ex the extended family could actually like see our house and all that. And we finally just put our paintings up, so we're very eager to show it off. Why is everyone decapitated? Who's getting their heads munched off? There is well, I get it's right there, I guess. They just pop it off like a Lego piece. Nice outfit. I don't know. Oh god, yeah, the saw dog. This has got to be one of the most impractical looking things. Like, why? Why would you do that? It's not even like a mouth that opens up into a saw. It's just a saw. Maybe some have hunger only heads would satisfy? So no head. So you know how you said you hate how enemies burst out from the walls. Be aware in this arcade. Oh. Oh. Good to know, Kraft. Thank you. Thank you for the. <laughs> Thank you for the dollar and the heads up. Yeah. Do don't lose your head over. By the way, when Vons, don't forget to look for wine in this area for that lady. Oh, is it in this area? Thank you. Thank you for a reminder. It's been a hot minute. Forgot about that. That's right. We got to get Granny her wine, her box wine. All right, open the door. Bunch of dead people. Hot. Okay. What's over there? So I'm one of the... Okay, so like I, I have gamer brain where it's like I, I anticipate a lot of design stuff. And one of them is that I avo always avoid going down the obvious path for the most part. And I always try to deviate the second I can because like normally there's always something hidden. In this case, it is blocked. Okay, well that answers my question. Let's go. <laughs> But I do that often, where it's like, you know, like I open up something or I unlock something way before I go down the intended path, quote unquote. And normally I end up, you know, preempt, I, I get something before the game, like expects me to like backtrack or do something like that. Oh. Where dreams come true? Disneyland looks a little different. Okay. All right. Well, um, cute place. Hmm. I'm kind of background listening because I'm gaming, but one thing I will say about Liza P and blocking that I don't like is that uh, they want you to focus uh, uh, clearly, but uh, won't give you a proper shield. It's not fun to always take damage if you aren't perfect blocking. I outspace my... That I can kind of understand, yeah. Well, because, like, it, it, the closest comparison I can think of with another game that has reliance on blocking is Sekiro, and Sekiro's blocking is more forgiving. Definitely. Like, you can tip, tap, 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 tap like this and get a perfect block. Not in this game. You really, really have to do it. Um, and yeah, not having any type of, like, di I mean, there's that, there's that one little, you know, arm shield, though. There's, like, the Igus. I don't, I can't switch it on. Can I switch it? Oh, I have to do it. Yeah, I have to do it with the Stargazer. Um, so there's that, but it's like, you know, it's like the wooden shield in Bloodborne. <laughs> oh, shit! Okay, yeah, there they are. Hey, ladies! <laughs> Yurachan, thank you for the 38. Welcome on back. Welcome on back. See, they want me so bad. Let's go. This is a good combo. <laughs> okay, blood smears. Yeah. Looks like someone had a snack. Hello. Looks like it was over here, too. Just kidding. Okay. This is a very cool place. Ooh, swords on the wall. What the fuck is that? Uh, okay, new plan. Hold on. <laughs> like I said, I have to. I can only switch through these very slowly. Uh. Oh, it's oh, it's really gr oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh, the other that reminds me of reminds me of this fucking that thing in Bloodborne that like sucks all your uh. Inside out. Hey, ow. <laughs> Gave him the old Jimmy legs. <laughs> All right, cool. Hold on. Whoop, there we go. Yeah, Bergenworth would be like. Okay, cool. Yeah, they got swords on the wall. Very, very neat. Very buns coated. Very cool. He'd be vibing. What's this? Oh, it's like a little private tea room. Oh, this is cute. Quality craftsmanship. Okay, yeah, they got the little offices here. No. All right, quality craftsmanship. Nice. They don't build them like this no more. 
Huh. Ooh, ooh, restaurant, cafe, wine. All right. All right, that's the shortcut. I gotta go back, get around that somehow. Books, clothes. Okay, all the clothes are gone. Hmm. Gotta love them worms. Yeah. There's, oh, yeah, okay, here's the stargazer. I'm being silly. All right, I'm going to put on my rope. It's a big area. Does anyone have a good soul recommendations? I have never played them before. Yes. Um, well, I mean, okay. I always at the... Gosh, just help me think about this. Hold on. Um, honestly, this would not be a terrible place to start, uh, as, like, a weird suggestion that is. Um, not so much, like, full souls, but I feel like this is, like, slightly easier, so it's not, like, as intimidating. Um, so the rule of thumb is with, like, any FromSoft or Soulsborne game is that the first one will always be the hardest. Just because it's, you know, if you're not used to this kind of design structure, you will feel like you're being punished left and right all over the place. Um, so, and it's hard to say exactly, like, which one's the easiest, because the hard, the first one is always the toughest. Um, so I always recommend people play Dark Souls 1, just because, like, you know, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the one that, like, put, you know, Dark Souls or the FromSoft on the map, you know, post, uh, Demon Souls. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, again, it's, 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 a, it's such a, it's a iconic game. Um, Bloodborne, I also recommend as a starting point, um, just because it's, again, more, you know, it's a lot more, uh, speedy, more aggressive, um, you know, not as slow, well, not as sluggish, also very cool looking. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I, I recommend Bloodborne or Dark Souls 1. Um, I don't recommend starting with Dark Souls 3 only because, um, I think you can start with it. I only suggest you don't start with it just because Dark Souls 3 does act like a direct sequel to Dark Souls 1. Um, and it require, like, relies on a lot of Dark Souls 1 references to kind of like, ooh, you know, give you the wow factor of it and surprise you with it. So I do recommend playing Dark Souls 3 after 1 just because of that. Um, but you can, you can really start anywhere. Um, but yeah, B Bloodborne, if you want something a little faster in emo, and then Dark Souls 1, if you want to try, you know, the iconic, uh, uh, you know, game, the, the one and only Dark Souls. Um, Elden Ring, I recommend after playing at least one from soft game, just because it's so big. Um, and it's literally just Dark Souls, you know, super XL. Um, and, uh, I, I feel like you need to kind of ease your way into the, the design structure a little bit, or else you're going to really get fresh, like, I want to say, like, get frustrated. I don't know. Elden Ring has the benefit, at the very least, when it comes to the difficulty of uh, that other FromSoft games don't have, is that if you get stuck in an area, there's a bajillion other places that you can go to level up versus, like, you know, Bloodborne or Dark Souls, um, is that they're a little more linear. You have branching options, you know, to deviate if you feel like you need to backtrack and get stronger. But for the, eventually you will hit a wall in one of those games. Um, and uh, uh, that's why Elden Ring is... I would say slightly easier um, just because you have the option to just go somewhere else, you know, if you feel like you're getting overwhelmed. It's hard to say. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I would say Bloodborne, Dark Souls, uh, or Dark Souls 1, and then anything else after. <laughs> yeah, Dark Souls 1 does have points where, oh, they ran out of assets slash the money, and I'm looking at you, Lost Eyes. Dark Souls 1 is also difficult in the sense that um, at least I would say the starting point of Dark Souls 1 is very hard because you don't have fast travel. Dark Souls 1 is the only game that doesn't have fast travel until halfway. Um, and some people say that's a benefit to the game. I would also say it's slightly a benefit to the game because the uh, it really makes you pay attention to the level design and it's very intricate. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm talking about... <laughs> anyway, we're playing Liza P. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Dark Souls 1 is, is still pretty tough, um, and especially in the early part of the game, um, so that's why it's like, I, I recommend it for the sake of like, you know, it's, it's the iconic game, but it's also very hard. <laughs> uh, but it was also my first Dark, uh, Dark Souls, so, you know, that's, that's as tough as it'll ever get. Yeah. Uh, hold on, let me catch up. Yeah, Dark Souls 2 is the black sheep. It's not bad, it's just... It's just got some goofs to it that, like, especially if I, I'm replaying it right now, um, it does bother me. <laughs> yeah, start with Dark Souls 1 if you want to go for the lore, but Dark Souls 3 is a good start. Uh, yeah, I would also say Dark Souls 3 is easier than Dark Souls 1, especially in the beginning, um, but it just, you know, it's a sequel. <clears throat> Let's see. 
Am I in some alternative reality or is the bun tuber different uh, HD? It is, it is random guy. Oh my God, welcome in. Oh, it is, hold on. Now, now I can like, let me, let me show it off really fast. Hey. <laughs> uh, wig. Wig. Ayo. So what's going on, everybody? Like my new hair tie? Or rather, Where the hell was it? Ow. Like my new haircut? <laughs> <laughs> Wig! Anyway, yeah, it is new. We have a new VTuber. <laughs> Uh, I, I haven't, I have, I fucked up the hotkeys, so I can't actually switch it until I'm clicked into the program and out of the game, so it's a little annoying in that case. I have to fix it. But yes, yes, right, okay, we do have a new one. And oh my god, man, I was that close from the ceiling falling in. Ooh, hey, baby. Oh, oh, man, crap, you weren't kidding when you said people were falling through left and right. Okay, yeah, that is, ooh, goopy poopy. Ooh, okay, ooh, that's a long... Are you gonna stop that? Jesus. Okay, that's really hard. Uh oh. Oh, I do not do a lot of damage. Hold on. Woo! Okay. It's been a. It's. It has been like a week, so my timing on attacks is a little weird, and that's a. Ooh, that's long. Oh! Okay. I don't. There's not even a wind up for that. He's just staring at me. Oh, man! I need fire. Oh, my God. No, I'm dead. I'm toast dead. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my timing is really fucky right now. He's really goopy and he's poopy and he tanks my damage like a champ. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna just let him leave. I'm gonna let hold on. I'm gonna let him get him out of his system. Back it up. Back it up. I need this thing to turn blue. I need it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> he just got tired. He's literally me. I'm like, okay, I'm bored. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. We're going with fire. We need fire. fire. These guys are weak to fire, right? They're organic. Crab, think of the dollar thing. I generally think the bald bund is scarier than those puppets. <laughs> Carcass is popping up out of you. <laughs> Eldritch horror beyond your very imagination. Suffer. Perish. Buy a bun plushie today. Thank you. Crap, thank you for the book. Hope that scared you. <laughs> chunky boy with the chunky health. This, <laughs> this is what my somebody was going towards. Wait, guys don't like cursed buns on a, on a, on a beautiful Saturday afternoon? You were so weak, the hunt was no longer interesting. He's like, yeah, this is, this is like, I feel bad almost beating him up. There we go. How, how convenient of the, the ceiling to fix itself every single time so you can have a little dramatic entrance. Oh, whoa! Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up! Oh man, why is he so chunky? I really hope this is a one and done. Don't, okay, lemons, does he respawn? If so, I'm leaving. I, why, I don't feel like he should be weaker to fire, but whatever. Once a kill him, he doesn't? Okay, all right. I feel like it'd be really funny if he just kept breaking the glass. <laughs> Oh, you know what I need is those little stun boys. Oh, man, I'm out of those, though. Yeah, that'll do. I forgot about those. Ah, shit, bitch. Ah! Oh, my God. 
it. Man, I don't like that. I don't like that move. I don't like this move either. This is a really weird timing attack. And if anyone questions my timing abilities, go ahead and watch the last Bob where I fought that clown. That thing was... That was sick, wasn't it? Alright. I'm gonna say tank this shit. It's ridiculous. Can you stagger already, boy? There it is. That'd be relentless, got it. Maybe that was the issue. There we go. Eat shit, buddy. Yeah. That's what you look like. Oh, it works! Hi, Womu! Hi! Oh, yeah, speaking of- Can I get a shout-out for Womu? Womu is the VTuber art- uh, Has been the VTuber artist, and this is the new model. Thank you, Womu. I haven't- I, I haven't programmed the, uh, the stream deck to work with it just yet, because I have to, like, be clicked in with it. I didn't get a chance to do that. I forgot. <laughs> um, but it is working, so thank you so much. Once I, like, uh, click into it, and I can, like, you know, hit the buttons. All right, where to now? Yeah, staggered him once he was a step from death. I think I just need to attack him relentlessly. It seems like he could have been staggered at least a little bit. Okay, I don't know if fire is the way to go here. Maybe I should go back to my little rope. Hey! What, what the fuck is he holding? Is he holding a lamp? What? Who gave this child a lamp? I'm calling CPS. He's gonna get electrocuted. <laughs> Firmly grasp it. Yeah, if your man don't stagger for more than four hours, consult a physician. <laughs> All right, arcade first floor key, sick. Man, they really wanted to be him, huh? All right, I'm going to switch on the strings again because I like those. Okay, and this is... Shock, that's right. Okay, it's gotta be red, it's gotta be red. I do remember. Every time I think it's not, it's the case. He looked like that baby Moses from the Prince of Egypt! Okay, that's so ridiculous. I actually do love that movie. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's switch Legion. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's go strings. Just so I can get my good old yank. Okay. So. Alright, we came that way, right? Okay, and then this is that way, and then here. Alright, let's go this way. Hmm. Doodads, trinkets, shopping. Bitches be shopping, am I right, guys? Oh! Ooh, decay. Oh, he's really goofy. Ooh! I love this weapon so fucking much. I'm so glad I have it. I know I can experiment more with different, like, you know, and I have. Like, I've messed around with some of the uh, the different weapons, and I've assembled some different things, but this weapon is really sexy, and I'm so glad I put the string back on. <laughs> Fucked up your jump, buddy. Love that movie isn't a religious pro Oh yeah, no, it fucks. Uh, Prince of Egypt is, it's really just the music too. Again, it's kind of, I mean, considering the subject matter, it's like, oh, it's a child's movie. It's a little weird tonally in that respect. Um, but the music's fucking bangs, you know? All right, that's it, nothing? No? Hello? Did it? Okay, it was probably for the key. There we go. Wasn't sure if this is openable. Big sword go bonk after all. It's such a good bonk too. Big hole in the wall. All right, something's blasting through, and we got you dodge rolling in. So sorry, you've been spotted. Should have came with a cardboard box next time, idiot. Ugh, goopy. Oh, not another one of you. Okay. Oh God. I just, I just want to play one of the crane games. I just want to get myself a little plushy. Tyler using a bonk weapon? Impossible. In Dark Souls 3 for experts, I'm playing as, uh, well, I don't want to spoil it too much, but I'm, I'm gonna, my goal eventually, because we're, you know, not strong enough to, to have our ideal builds yet, my goal is to have, uh, deal, dual wing, uh, dual wield the chicken wing weapons, um, and, uh, I'm basically gonna be a walking KFC box. 
Oh, oh, you're like really goofy. What's your damage? Oh, how da how sensitive are you? Okay. Oh yeah, it was. You. You are born from the goop. Melded to it. Can't win a bum plush in a crane game only by the only morally okay use of Catholic. Thank you. I get a pass. <laughs> Honestly, in an ideal world, we'd be giving them out for free. Oh. But thank you. Though. Seriously, all for, for anyone who bought one, thank you guys so much. And hyper uh, Colonel Sanders, perhaps. Perhaps. I couldn't do Colonel Sanders exactly because they didn't have the right mu uh, mustaches in Dark Souls 3, so I did something a little... Adjacent to Colonel Sanders, you'll see. You guys will see eventually, inevitably, once the once we're done. We're still uh, not even halfway through the game yet, so. I did not expect that to work. Hey, Mama, I'm gonna just leave you at it, okay? You seem like you're having fun down there. Uh oh. Oh wait, hold. On. Ooh, the butterfly thing. My butterfly sense is tingling. Oh, uh, what the? Ooh. Oh, it's, why is it walking at me? Menacingly! I'm sorry, do you have a baby face on? Where is the butterfly? My butter- I, I'm sensing it. Butterfly, ooh. Uh, ooh, what the- oh, it's so- Ah! Hold on. Don't move! Oh, it's really tanky. Ah, crap. Okay, hold on, hold on. I don't, but you got no strings on me. Hey. Shut up. You, come here. Really? That doesn't work? <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a big butterfly. Oh, that was made out of raw butter, too. Holy shit. I wish I could have joined, but I'm, uh, uh, segregated the PS4. Yeah, I really wish Dark Souls was, like, it was cross-platform. It does suck. But considering, I mean, you know, for those who don't remember, um, Dark Souls, uh, three, like, most of them on PC, um, had to shut off their online for, like, several months, almost to, like, a whole year, because there was an exploit inside the online, uh, basically that allowed people to, like, you know, rat other people's PCs. Um, so, you know, when you would connect to somebody, um, you know, rather be an invader and, or a summon, you could basically, you know, worm your way into the other person's computer. And it was a huge, um, uh, uh, I don't want to say like oversight, but it was, um, that's what I'm looking for. It was a huge uh, uh, weakness, I guess, of their system. Um, and it took them months to fix it. Um, and, or vulnerability, excuse me, vulnerability of the system um, that allowed people to get into people's PCs that way. So they shut it down. So I can only imagine um, the headache it would be to. Why are you so relentless? Holy shit! Oh, it's right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you so tanky out of all people? Oh my god! Huh? Woo! I'll teach you. Oh man, we we cut her in half. Holy crap. Anyway, yes, I wish they were cross-platform as well. I just can only imagine the headache it would be considering they had an issue with the PC version alone. Um, not to mention, like, it would be so unfun to, to be in cross-platform and people deal... Because, like, they still haven't gotten rid of the cheating problem. It's still a... You know, people can bypass it still. Um, and uh, you still come across hackers and cheaters. And, uh, uh, and, you know, on console, that would be a nightmare to go against, so... Oh, right. So now what? We're back up here? Okay, we grab the doodad. I can level up, too. Neat. Butterfly fights back. Butterfly got hands. Yeah, it was a huge security breach and a PR nightmare problem. It was, yeah. I mean, they shut it down for months. It was like seven to nine months or something. And they gradually started putting them back online. And I'm glad they took the time to do it. Like, obviously, that's a small, you know, if you know that there's a an incredibly, like, dangerous vulnerability for your users, the fact that they're incredibly um, just exposed to hackers uh, through your through your game, like, it would be a priority to change it. So I'm glad that they did. It's just like, yeah, I'm sure that was, you know, 
there's several factors as to why they can't, the games are not cross-platform, and uh, <laughs> that might be one. Okay, hold on, sorry, drinking my water. Oh, that's a big boy. Okay, is this is this bad is this bad blood? Is this bad soup? Am I okay, no status effects? Sick. What about these? Can I alright? Ooh. Oh, he's swinging. Oh! Okay, I forgot how fast this guy is. Ah! Okay, back it up, back it up. Ooh, there's a dude at over there. Hold on, hold on. Hang tight. <laughs> Is this wine? Oh, it's probably the wine. I don't have my ID. God, that's fast. Okay, I don't want to fight this right now. <laughs> I'm out of here. I have, I have, I have, uh, ergo, whatever. I got juice. I don't want to lose it. Wh what the fuck? Get oh, don't tell me he has the key. Oh, brother. Okay. What's a girl gotta do to lock on right? The block! Ah! Fuck. Man, my blocking is really bad right now. I'm out of my groove, guys. They threw off the group. You're broken the smell next level. Funky next. Yeah, no, just squish, squish. Thank God we can't get gangrene out here. This isn't bad blood by Taylor Swift. I had to play through Dark Souls 2 with no multiplayer, but I got through it. I wish I could be playing through it with no multiplayer right now. I'm doing it just for, again, just for funsies. And I don't know if I just can't find the setting for it or what, but I, is there a way to go offline in Dark Souls 2? Because I don't, I'm tired of getting invaded. And it's not even like, obviously I know the difference between an NPC invader and a normal invader. I'm getting invaded by like normal people. People still like re regularly invade in Dark Souls 2. And it's like, you know, I'm just like, I'm just out here trying to live, man. That game already throws a bajillion enemies at you. I don't need more. But I have been able to find it. It's not as simple as like, you know, Dark Souls 3 where you just like click online or offline, right? Shut off the router. I could just put it on online mode on Steam. Oh, damn it! <laughs> what are you sucking out? Oil? Shit, baby. Ugh. There's all this nonsense. Okay, we go back around. I don't know. Oh, man. Drank my ergo juice. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ooh, okay. Where is my phone? Okay, here it is. Hi. Oh! <laughs> oh god, that hurt. Ooh, I felt that in my back. Ah! I'm really trying to get the timing on it. God. What is it? What, 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 what are you doing? Oh, he's going crazy. He's going bananas. Come on. <sighs> I feel like I'm just really getting fucked up on, like, Swings suck, yo. Ah, there we go. So I was really trying to be really careful. I do not have health. <laughs> oh, go fuck yourself. To freedom. Oh my god. There we go. Got it. Your boy, Noir, thank you for the. <laughs> Four months, welcome on back with the prime. Thank you. Die zombie. Literally die zombie. Oh my god, yeah, no, my damn squishies up there. Okay, uh, where the hell is it? 
Home suit. How do I get? Oh, now the door's open. Okay. I guess that was it. He didn't even drop a key. I just have to kill him. Okay. <gasps> All right. Hello. Oh, this is dark as hell in here. Ooh. Ooh, I should have been paying attention. Okay, hold up. Ran that shit out. Why is it so dark? Why is it so spooky? Where house concert? Ooh. Hold on. All of you are invited to the concert being held at the Mana Charity House. We pray for the successful opening of the exposition e exhibit. E e that word. My brain. Children and sponsored by the Monetico Charity House will have a message of love and hope for all of you. Don't miss this chance to listen to the most innocent of performance of all of crap. Sponsored by Lady Isabel and Sophia M. All profits from the performance will go towards one of our less fortunate neighbors. Right. Okay, this seems, like, too innocent. This is, like, sussy innocent. Like, um... Sure, all that sounds fine and dandy, but at what cost? Um, also, Jamal with the 20 saying, Father, I want to be... <laughs> Father, when can I go out to be on my own? I got the whole world to see with the $20. And with that $20, my hair is rejuvenated as well. Uh, and I'll boop, there I go. <laughs> j thank you for the 20. Welcome on back. I hope you had a uh, 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 <laughs> wonderful holiday. Uh, and uh, good to see you. Great to see you. Whoever wrote this sounded dyslexic. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like they're like throwing in like extra... Am I just like, is, is it, is it a case where it's just like, it's just the wordage a little weird or am I just like really bad at reading? I think I'm just bad at reading, guys. <laughs> I, th I think dyslexia might be getting to me. Yeah, I'm not thinking of that big 20 though. Welcome in. Let's see. Yeah, for that guy, you just use a faster weapon or you just gotta be trading blows like you just said. Also, in this zone, you gotta fight an enemy, aka mini boss, for the gate to open. Yeah, yeah. Well, again, I'm also a little out of practice. It's been like a few, it's like been like five days. Um, and uh, my timing is a little goofy. Wait, is this the, is this the Ruka? <gasps> Damn it! Okay, I need the key. No, it's the old time warning? Okay. All right, this seems... Okay, that's... Everything in here is very... It's it's given... It's given goop. It's given gross goopy poopy. Oh, ooh, okay, yeah, there's the K immediately. No, I can't. I, this is the shock thing, right? Yeah, press the button. It's not red. It's not red. Why bother? Will you escape the Twinkie rumors now, Bones? <laughs> I ain't cream filled. I'm gay. <laughs> what the f All right, serious face. Let's get this guy. Okay. Just kidding. Okay. Oh, brother. Holy shit, that's a big boy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you, before you beat my ass... Oh, this is gonna shock me, God damn it! Yeah, before you beat my ass... Oh, nice mustache. Oh, he's chunky. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, there's so many! Ooh. Okay, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna grab it, though. All right, it's a fragment. Oh, my God. You really expect me to fight all that shit, game? Okay, we have no health. We gotta get out of here. We're escaping, we're escaping, we're escaping, we're running, we're running, we're running. I have no idea where we're supposed to be going. We're going, we're going. What is this? Oh, the music. Oh, ooh, pop. Okay, ooh, there we go. All right. Shortcut. Open up! Ah, okay! <laughs> 
Here we go! <laughs> to freedom! <laughs> to freedom! Let's go. All right. To the hotel. Away! We also have to talk to Geppetto, it seems, and, and my mama. Huh! Well. Shit in my pants. Ugh, oh, thank god. Alright, cool. Why is she standing like there? She's waiting for me. Tree hanging in Geppetto's room. It looks very much like you. Sure it does. I sense something strange. Something like the changes you're going through. The sort of thing you'd read. Kenny on the bookshelf, you're so right. Go to Geppetto's room. You should Okay, I already did see the portrait. You're okay. a little late. It's a necklace from the Monad Charity House. Monad. Oh, that's how you say it. They took care of orphans and impoverished children from across Krat. Many of those beefcake boys in the house? Rose estate and became alchemists, technicians, and stalkers. I hope the king didn't harm any of them. Or are you okay? You look ill ever since I mentioned the necklace. <laughs> My heavens, you look... Ugly? What's wrong with me? Carlo. Oh! Oh! Carlo? Human? You telling me I look sicky? We grew? What the? You're... Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, our hair! Oh, this kind of- Oh no! Oh, we're a teeny popper! If this is what you want... Oh, we're like awkward teenager! Ooh, we're like 16 and we're just learning how to put on deodorant! You might just hold the true secret of air- Our wig! What the f- No, I want the old hair back! No, what the hell? Ugh, this is not- No, 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 I want a haircut! Give me a haircut! And become a Snape, yeah, my god. I look like a wannabe emo kid. <laughs> Get this off of me. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Fuck ass mob, I miss it. Yeah, take the board of the barber immediately. When I was a young boy. Oh my god. I'm looking like that berries and cream lad. <laughs> There's another hair change if you make the choice later. Is it better than this? I hate this. Oh, I would. Oh, I never would have spoken to you if I know you would have done this to me. <laughs> Fuck it, do it. I don't want to be a real boy anymore. This sucks. Oh my god. Fine. Damn it, I like the OG look. Since when are we changing hair in these games? <laughs> Come on. Ah, jeez. Okay, fine. I'm gonna do... Uh, fuck it. I'm gonna raise my strength up even more. He just wants to be seen. I can change it back on the chair. Thank God! Okay. Oh, I was about to have a conniption. At the house of a name. Huh. Okay, hold on. Let me just... Let me buy some doodads. Hold on. Actually, hold on. Let me see if I can look this up. I know my way around a weapon. Uh, I need a full moon, that's right. Okay. I will buy- Ooh, I know exactly what to buy with all this. Hold on, we're going to the le we're going to Red Lapsta. Actually, hold on, before we do the Red Lapsta, let's go talk to Geppetto. Donkey Mask of Shame, since we don't have a paper bag, that's an excellent idea. Let's see if I can change it, though. You wanted Buzzy Bugwan to become a real boy. Now you have to deal with the personal hygiene and grooming monkey paw curls. Ugh! Then taxes. Great. I get puberty, acne, B.O., and then die. Ugh. It's all your fault. Whatever. All right, let's go in the chair. Geppetto, what the fuck happened to me? Oh, my. This is a change I didn't expect. Me too. Did the king of puppets get you? <laughs> or some other ruffians? Ah! He says, wow, son, you look like shit. But I'm not sure what to make of this. Be wary of dangerous people. And always 
be a good boy for me. He said, who the fuck did this to you? Access save shapes memories on the device? What? <gasps> Change short hair. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm getting my hair did. Oh, thank god. To freedom, we're saved. We're fucking saved. Huh. To freedom! Thank god. Thank you for letting me know that. <laughs> Dad, look what the fairy did to me. Whew. Yeah, I cannot run around and be looking ugly like that. Also, Oriel, I think of the 100 bitty saying he just wants to be seen at what cost? At what cost? Okay, oh yeah, now I know. Alright, red lobster. Red lobster. <gasps> red lobster. I remember where it's at. Pretty sure it's. There it is. Red lobster in. But I love the hair. I can't. I know. I just like when it's all that long. It reminds me of when I was like a teenager. <laughs> I'm. I'm. I'm all about the Timothy Charlemagne Bob. I want nothing else. But humanity does it like reduce my. Do, is it just a cosmetic thing if I change back the shape, or is like my path set? Did I like reverse my human my Bosses humanization? Work hard too, you know. Okay, here we go. These things, the shot put. These things are awesome. Okay, we're gonna take as many as I can. Yeah, up to six. Thank you. Many as I can take. We're gonna need these. I can already tell. All right, we don't need that for now because we're not even a boss. Let's put on this. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Cosmetic. Okay, you're fine. Oh, I was like, I was like, oh, you want your OG hair back? We'll just sacrifice all of your humanity. If the haircut determined the outcome of the game, I would love to an early grave. Be very bold. I wouldn't lie. Uh, all right, let's back to the back to the arcade. Now that I got some volumizer in here, good lord. That's it's not the fact that it's like long or whatever. It just looks unkept. It literally just looks like I got out of the shower and it's just dangling there. You know, like it's not a do. It's just done. See, at least at this one, it's like a little stylish. You know, a little fluff, little little, little volumizing. I can see my face. There we go. Okay, we unlock the shortcut. Where are we get this way? Ooh, piano now. Before I go that way, use the ba anyone bathroom. Oh, scandal. Okay, hold on. The citizens of Crod do not know who V is. Well, I do. Don't get so cocky. Where's your motivation? The Crown Prince of High Society, the man who came up with the Grand Covenant of the Automated Prophets and built the best manufacturing company at the age of 18. Okay, sounds like he got a small loan of a million dollars from his dad. The man who's always fancy and is passionate about making people laugh. V is the most hated and beloved man in Krat, but his innocent uh, passion makes even his opponents a sentimental. However, even few people are aware of the tragedy he experienced in this youth. Is this, is this what's his face? Is in the billiard that we know, right? The true nature of the death of these parents was covered up. Officially, they're victims of a homicide during a mugging. So he's Batman, okay? Even though he experienced such a tragedy in his youth, he grew up with a cheerful personality and became a well-known person whom any parent would be proud of. However, there's no one who knows that he secretly requests for the case history uh, every year and that his request is always denied. Sus suspicion surrendered this uh, tragedy at the time and there is known to have pressure from the workshop and the alchemists throughout the investigation. Ah, uh, this conspiracy. The most interesting hypothesis is that the murderer is not human. 
If that is true, it explains the workshop and the alchemist's suspicions, uh, suspicious attempts to cover it up. It also explains how V was obsessed with inventions and success from his youth. This is where the real tragedy of Krat lies. Even V, the richest and most influential in all of Krat, can't come close to those, to those, in, uh, to their power. On the other hand, this fact includes another truth. Have you noticed? The state censorship is keeping me from writing it. But as a writer, I'm curious if people are ready to accept the truth. The truth that there's a murder made of steel that walks among us. Perhaps our world of crime is not such a perfect place after all. Wow. Um, revelations really blew my hair off. Holy crap. Okay. I'm guessing it is, uh, what's his face? The, the billionaire Vavinky, or whatever his name is. Vangini? Languini? I can't remember his name. Is this him? Is this who they're referring to? I'm putting my hair back on. Hmm. Yeah, Vin Diesel, is that you? Yep, okay, I figured as much. <laughs> Good morning, time zones are wacky, ain't it? Oh, they are, they sure are weird. Um, hmm. Wrong, he's that man. <laughs> Hold on. Ooh, that was wrong. <laughs> True. Um, okay. So basically from the sound of it is that his parents were murdered by a robot or a puppet and uh, the alchemists and, and, and so high societies kept him from getting access to the police report information so he could figure it out. Hmm. So, it's something tells me that the robot, or the, the, the puppets, have been a, a little bit of a murder spree before all this shit went down, huh? It seems like the... Hmm. hmm. Oh, boobies! Boobies. Nice. Big milkers. Hey, mom! Oh, shit, hey, you. Hey, there's the passage key. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Who are you? A lost visitor, or a looter who's arrived too late? Bitch, you know me! I literally I just bought some- I figured you were all dead. Oh my <laughs> no god. Offense. Stalker, visitor, looter, I don't care. Just buy what you need and leave. Well, he really told me to get lost. Okay, buddy. Oh, he doesn't even have the thing I need, thank god. Okay. I came to Krat to see. Not only was the Grand Exhibition a huge Exposition. disaster, e e Exposition. I can't leave because of, well, monsters. If you want to see the exhibition for yourself, head toward the wine cellar down below. Okay, well, I did go in the wine cellar earlier and it was not that. Does he not recognize you after your puberty? Maybe that's it. Maybe I have to keep remembering I've changed technically. Yeah, this is why you make the laws of robotics first and then build robots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, now nah, we can program them in later. <laughs> By the way, we gave them the ability to sniper track your head and gave them a gun. Okay, hold on. I'm going. I'm going this way first to see if anything I missed because I was frantically running through here. Okay. Right. I don't want to fight you. I'm good. I'm back. Here. All of these merchants are different people. They have the same model. Oh. I guess that explains why their faces are covered up, huh? Okay. I got the... Who's following me? Hey. I got the key. Now where to? Is it this one? I thought I killed you already! What are you doing back? Hello? No, that's not fair. No, 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 no. Really? After all this nonsense? Trying to find where the... Uh, God, okay, one second. Keep a wants in, guys. It's baby time. The baby. Ow. Baby! That's just a regular enemy at this point. I was told that he does not respawn. Okay, whatever. After all that work. Welcome to the mini bosses. Don't always say dead portion. Fun. Love that for us. Hi, Kipo. I know. Hi, Kipo. Oh, she's so meow meow right now. He's so baby meow meow. Hi, baby. All right. I think this is the gate. 
Yep. Nope, just kidding. I'm so dumb. Where's the one with the key? It literally said so. Here? I'm gonna try here. I just came down this way. I'm so stupid. Hold on. Reset. Oh my god. Hold on. I'm, th I'm getting turned around in this area. Okay, it's gotta be here. Hey, hey, get in line, get in line. Oh my god, Kipo, please, I don't need you rubbing up against my hands right now. Hold on, guys, I have to smother my cat. She, she, well, like, this, when she gets like this, she needs, like, chronic attention and belly kisses and stuff like that. So I got, I got to make her sick of me, hold on. Lies of P, lies slash yeah. P, P lies, flies, interminable steps, lies. Guys, I don't know if you can hear this Thanksgiving game confirmed. Uh, Goldstar, thank you for the hundred. Lies of P, 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 lies, plies, uh, internal math set, pies, Thanksgiving game confirmed. Yeah, lies of pies, you bet it is, baby. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> Goldstar, thank you for the hundred. Okay, let's try this. Now, where's the goddamn... Come on, where's the big gate? Now you, now you. I hate it when they have just a little, sh like, a swivel of health left. Like, just give it to me, game. Come on. Give me a little freebie. Okay, well, we got the key. I guess, maybe I'm just getting turned around. Like, I, uh, you know, obviously we're backtracking at this point. I'm like, where is the gate that it literally said... I need this key to open up. And I'm like, okay. Hold on. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm just gonna go through the giant big area and let's see what I got. Keepo, do you like puppets? Keepo, please. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Get up. Get down. <laughs> I was enjoying the ragtime peony. Someone's going crazy. I truly thought one wouldn't come back. Color be wrong because uh, I, I never, it never came back by, but no worries there. I'm just like, <gasps> I was so surprised. Okay. This area is definitely a labyrinth, both good and the bad. Uh, yeah, I'm just getting a little turned around. Like I'm going cross eyed trying to remember which way. Because I remember coming across the gate saying, like, you need this key to open it, and I just can't remember where it is, and I don't want to run around constantly. So let's go through here first, okay? I hear big slams. I, I, I'm sure they'll greet us with a lot of, uh, with, a uh, hosp hosp hospitality and ask me if I want a snack, maybe a drink. Keepo, what are you doing? Oh my god! No, get out of here! Okay, I have to let her out. Keepo, no, you can't be in here. No, you're out. No, you're banished. No, out. Oh my god, big man just passed me just casually. Please don't notice me. Please don't notice me. Yeah, sorry. I have a bunch of like important papers behind me right now that I've had to organize and a bunch of them are on the ground. Like, you know, like I have all the floor space I have. I don't place to put them. She was like sort of kneading on one of them, like, no. Okay, he shot a bunch. Is this just another shortcut? I guess so. Okay, and down, I think this is, oh yeah, this is down here is the bear. All right, yeah, this is it. Okay. Got it, please, I don't know if this is it. Like, why would it give me a shortcut for it? There we go, hey! To freedom! There we go, I should've just gone through the door to begin with. Hey, mama. Where's the rest of your gang? Sick. Cool. All right, that's yeah. That's really. Uh, I don't know. Is there a decay? I guess I could. Oh, I never mind. 
I have an idea. I have a bajillion of these. What does this do again? Hold on. And decay. All right, it does protect. Cool. Let's go then. Let's try it. Oop! Oh, my butterfly sense is tingling. Damn it! I missed. <laughs> Oh, that's how they get you! This butterfly's gonna get me killed. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, I needed these! Oh, I think I need one of these. Is this is this one of those? Shoot! Alright, ow, 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 ow. Decay, 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 decay. Obtain, obtain, obtain. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright. Ooh, what's that? What is that? It's nice and shiny. Oh, ooh, my weapon. Oh, my weapon! Damn it! Open it up, open it up! Iframes, 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 iframes! Ah, damn it, shit! <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, that sucks, okay. That was my fault, that was really risky. Don't tell me my weapon broke, broke. Does it, like, reset? Don't tell me, don't tell me it broke, broke. I love this weapon so much. <gasps> oh, thank God, okay. I wasn't sure if it was like, if it got shattered, you have to like go repair it or something. Okay, well, um, the iframes have failed. Well, there were iframes while I was opening it and the second it stopped, the second it was open, it's like, all right, there you go, your iframes. Bye-bye. Okay, yeah, there's the shortcut that way. This is definitely labyrinthy. The butterfly effect, death. That's what they, that's what they wanted me to do. They're like, hey, hey, you see this nice tasty butterfly? Chase it. <laughs> we promise you won't get hurt. Maybe just a little bit. Tyler, I love your new VTuber model. It's so cute. You think so? Even when I look like this? Yeah. You still love me now, my dude? Huh? Bow. Bow to my presence and power. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> You can, you can thank Woma for putting that in. <laughs> oh god, they're so big. It's so cute, Boomot, looking at the screen. Thank you. Yeah, I hope I can fix the programming so I can switch my faces more. Right, do I dare go down the goopy poopy tunnel of despair or do I just try to go through it legit? Hold on. Went for bun to French toast real real fast. What do, what do you guys what's what's the preference, everybody? Pancakes, waffles, or French toast? I love me some good French toast. Um and uh, you gotta get that egg ratio right, but for the most part, mm. But waffles is the most convenient to make. Get some ego and go to town. Okay, ooh, the body just fling up in the air. Hey! Okay, I will go down the, the goopy poopy tunnel of despair only when I feel like I need to. For now, we're going this way. If not, I will come back for it when I'm a little stronger, a little beefier, a little less decay -y. See? Yeah, I'm glad I brought the string here. This is really useful right now. <laughs> Okay, more goopy poopy tunnel of despair. What's in here? Waffles for me, I love some crunch. I do love a good waffle. The biggest show on earth is coming. Okay, here we go. The biggest show on earth is coming to Kra to make your heart race. Dear ladies and gentlemen, introducing the great exposition in Kra. The city of tomorrow and the center of a new age. State of the art machines balloon spread across the sky and a popular performance that torn from across the great desert to the south of the, to the country in the far east. Don't forget the earth, uh, the essence of the automated puppet, the center of crowds of revival. The greatest show awaits you all. Don't miss your chance to see the following of the Exposition Gallery Puppets of the Future Multi-Purpose Puppets. 
Uh, the Giddy Trium, Milk Butler Puppets, Special Vision Gallery, Treasures from the Far East. If you wish to behold these splendors, be sure to attend. Wow. Sounds cool. <laughs> I'm sure everything went smoothly. Wig. Wig. They're all great, but hot waffles and buttery surface heaven plus bacon and fr I love actually I love putting butter on my my pancakes like crazy. Like I always have like a little at least a little butter slice in between each stack. Mmm, it's delicious. Alright, we're going down. Down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. What the f Chill, quiet. Oh, I feel like all of those are gonna swing open and swarm me in a second. Hold on. All right. Hello. No. Okay. I have. I have a feeling I'm gonna get attacked any instance. <laughs> ah! Damn it! There it is. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, it's another cloud. No, not dealing with it today! Man, this thing is tough! Oh my god, really? None of that staggered you? There it is! Whew! Clowns! Oh, damn it! He's winding up! Ah! Oh. Oh, okay. okay, finish it off. I did it. <laughs> Got his ass. Yeah. Unstoppable. Oh man, I use all of these too. These things, okay, the, these things literally stagger bosses in like a like in a in a hit or two. It took, it didn't even take all of them. I had to do all four and then in, like a follow-up attack. Holy shit. The stagger on that is insane. To fucking freedom. To freedom! Jester, I hardly know her. That's good. Literally Jester clown coming at me. First try. Haha. <laughs> I got 2,000 ergo hanging around so- Oh yeah, it's back- it's back in the gooby booby pit of despair! Yeah, I'm not getting that shit. Oh my god. Yeah, dang Pennywise, what happened? Got- got a new suit! Whew, clown. Cut man, I was not expecting- I was not expecting to get that first try. <laughs> Great job, team. <laughs> 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 huh. Balance crank, okay. Is the old woman a, <gasps> a venerable lady looking for some wine? You know, like the wine you've got? Yeah! We got wine! We're underage! Let's go! Noth nothing can stop us now! Butter, baby. Okay, all right, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I see we're looping back. There should be a shortcut coming up. Uh, hello? Is anyone there? Wait, you can drink at 16 in France? Oh, shit, really? That was 18. Oh, no, wait, you're right. Huh? Vingini, is that you? Vatman? Hmm, interesting. Also, how old is he? Is he 16? I guess that, yeah, he kind of is a little, he is a teenager. I wasn't sure how old. Regardless. Regardless. Also, yeah, this is in Italy. <laughs> Don't tell mom or she'll give you a weird haircut again. She'll be, she'll force me to grow it out. All right. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. 
Nothing can stop us now. And actually, with the, with the stuff that I have, I am I am gonna go back to. Oh yeah, hold on. Yeah, yeah, coming in. This has to be how the King of Puppets did it. How he called to the puppets and controlled them. I can't believe you can transmit your voice through ergo waves. What a brilliant discovery! And you'll never believe what signal I've picked up over the ergo. A cry for help from the Grand Exhibition. <clears throat> okay. Somehow someone survived. I'm suspicious too. But you have to investigate. What if it's some trapped innocent? Get off this frequency! This is a government frequency! If you stay on, you'll be prosecuted for 15 years! Get off the line! Anyway. That'll teach him. Let's see... Hmm, alright, so, so switch to... Oh yeah, switch the cube. Alright, hold on. Teleport, we're going to... <sighs> Nothing can stop us now. Vengini, I'm afraid you're sending us up for a shit show. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah, no, no one else out here is doing the heart heavy lifting except for me. Disappointed. It's not called the Red Lobster Square, but whatever. Whatever game. You, you're my favorite. Bosses work. I'm trying to buy as many as I can of these. I'm going to start hoarding them like crazy. <laughs> Just because they're stupid good. Red Lobster. All right, let's go. I'm so curious. Oh, we can go get more apples. Okay, I'll wait. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, unless... Nothing could... Yeah, let's just get out of here. All right, let's go. Part of them like Bloodborne Blood Vow? Absolutely! They insta-stagger. They're super good. Or at least for the most part, they insta-stagger. All right, now lying. Beep, boop, boop, bop. Let's go. Lance. Okay, we've opened up the... God, if I remember. Um, this one, I'm guessing. Yeah. Dish away. All right, I'm lore walking, everybody. We gotta make it look dramatic. Hold on. Damn it, hold on. Nice and easy. There we go. Nice and slow. Nice and lore walky. Nice. Creep. Okay, cool, cool. Hold on. Wait, Vingini said, like, oh, it, did, is there a boss in here that I missed? Um, I'm guessing it's, like, or, or are they further in? Like, where's the person? I'm guessing they're further in, huh? Because, like, obviously I didn't explore everything I could here, but, you know, we're making progress through, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess lemons, lemons, lemons. Bet this lore locked look better with long hair. Okay, okay. Hold on. Long hair or short hair, guys? What's the preference? I, I'm all about this little bob. I think it looks great. Don't we need to give grandmother her wine? You're so right, we do. Hold on. Back it up. Back it up, Regi. You're right. Short? Yeah, I'm about the short. Short hair. Hold on. Back it up. Back it up. We're on wine delivery, boy. Teleports to pretty. Oh, there it's literally has the wine bottle. <laughs> also, I should probably talk to Vengini because it literally says I can talk to him. Okay, maybe I should. I'll do a few more things after I move forward. Hold on. Hang tight. I'm about the mom doesn't understand me hairstyle. <laughs> she just doesn't get it, man. Nothing can stop us now. Trying to remember. There she is. Okay, it's over there. Oh, and it's raining. I don't even know this wine's still good. How long can wine keep? Like, what, a few weeks? I'm being... I'm being... Please don't. 
I'm being funny. <laughs> It's like, I don't know, I'm a kid, I don't drink this shit. Wine ages, yeah. Guys, come on! I'm literally wine mom on, on fucking Steam. I know! <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm not being sarcastic enough. <laughs> oh shit, okay, hold on, Mom. Don't worry, Granny, we got your booze. La blame Even in the bottle, it has a distinctive shade of red. Oh, thank you, young one. Every step is a struggle when you have the petrification disease. But this, this glimmer of happier days is priceless. Mama, it's called alcohol, okay? You could have gotten from anything, really. The price. Here's what I can spare. Please, take it. Ooh, a coin. Okay, all right. Then give me a commemorative coin. Oh, God, people wants back in. One second, guys. I gotta move these. I gotta get this stuff off the floor. You know what I hate is, uh, and this is just like a particular thing I didn't realize how much I'd loathe as an adult, is checking my mail and opening up letters and just anything, because it's like, that's when bad news shows up is in the mail, you know? Important notices, that kind of thing. I owe it, uh, I'm so reluctant to check it, and I, ha I went through all my mail yesterday, you know, organizing it and all that. Hi, Kipo, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got a big old pile of mail I got to... Uh, just put in my, like, special boxes and all that for safekeeping, but I'm like, oh, God. All right, let's... Let's go back to the hotel. Keepo, please. Why are you only like this when I'm talking? Uh, here's... The most frustrating thing about Keepo as a cat is that, for the most part, when I'm here alone and I'm not saying a word, she doesn't want it. She doesn't care. The second she hears me start talking, she's like, ooh, I gotta be about that. Uh, that's all, it's all me. It's Kipo time. <clears throat> Grandma nostalgic for her drinking session. Same, honestly. <laughs> she loves hearing you talk, apparently. Oh my gosh. All right, Vangini. I read about your tragic backstory. This shit sucks. Ah, I heard you defeated the King of Puppets. Amazing. Ah, the puppets appear lost without their leader. To think one can have so much control through ergo waves. If we don't determine who or what is causing it, this could all happen again tomorrow. I feel Play your stream I must in another room to trick again, the cat. My oh my god. Please gather records of the puppets' ergo waves while you're defeating them. What, Kipo? Oh my god, she's being so cute. Hmm? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. What? What? Yeah? What, Kipo? Her little meow meow. She's so chatty. <laughs> I always welcome friends. I can switch the grinder show. What do I do with your fucking coin, bro? Hold on. What yeah, what what did she give me? What was it? Is it one of these or no 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 it's not nah 
We got the amulet. Is that an amulet? Oh, I have so many outfits. I have. Okay, hold on, guys. Fashion show. I forgot I have so many nice outfits I haven't put on yet. Okay, well, now that I have my hair back. One second. Keepo, please. <laughs> please. She's getting in my lap, and she's trying to, like, rub up against my hands. Please, stop. I'm trying so hard to be a gamer. You make it so hard sometimes. <laughs> walk, fashion, walk. Yeah, hold on. Let's go. Let's, uh... Let's see, character. Damn it, I always forget. Equipment, equipment. There we go. Costume. All right. Yeah, yeah, we got. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's styling. Okay, yeah, yeah, we got this one. We got the green one. We got the little soldier boy outfit. Yeah, I got, got, got a sailor. And then this is like, you know, the, the box cover. Uh, this is Boy Scout. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're going clown. We are clowning up with the pantaloons. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Hold on. Where is my... Let's do it, guys. <laughs> you wanna be on top? Anyway. <laughs> I think this is really cute. It's got a little cape, a little clown fit. All right, yeah, I'm wearing this. Clownery hours, everybody. Okay, uh, where else was I supposed to go? I think that's it. We we're supposed to talk to him. We got the wine. Let's keep going. Slay? Slay. Slay. Did somebody say slay? Oh, now you want out? No, Keepo. I don't know what you want. I'm No, I'm, you're going to chill out here for a little bit. Show the coin, uh, the coin to uh, Fazilia. She'll give you something. Oh, okay. Damn, well, I'm already back here. All right, let me go back. Let me go back. What, Kipo? Where's your mama? Did she leave? Where's, where's Anya? <laughs> Anya should be home. Hold on. I'm going to see where Anya is. They're driving? When did they... Hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anya left. That's why. <laughs> I highly recommend... If you guys don't have something like this already, I highly recommend, um, assuming that, you know, again, you're... You, uh, uh, you know, the other person is fine with it. Um, get a... Get a tracking app for you or your loved ones. I have uh, Life... Like, uh, we use an app called Life360. It helps us see where everybody is at any time. Uh, very useful for the sake of, like... Hey, where the fuck did you go? You know, that kind of... I can see, literally see Anya, the little car icon on the way down the road with her sister. Anyway, let's go. Making my way downtown. Man, this thing makes my ass look so fat. Look at that. Cheeked up, too. Mmm. All right, back outside. Keep on to fit me the okay by I hey got a go I need food never. <laughs> that's exactly it. That thank you for the hunter. That's exactly it. That's what she's doing right now. Oh you were going to go give her the coin. I will. I will like once we go back to the hotel and I have like a reason to spend my shit. For now we're moving forward. I gotta go back eventually. The anyway. mission theme was automatic puppets and city of the future. The plan was to showcase and demonstrate the most advanced technology in Croft. But you know the rest. You can't hold yep. an exhibition in a city that's fallen into utter chaos. Yep. And ooh, nice. Ooh, ooh. Is this is cool looking. Of a nightmare. Thanks, Jiminy. Thanks for the quality commentary. Everyone is so mean to me. My big ass, fat, my fat ass hanging out here. Everyone's so mean. Hmm. All right, what's the catch? I see a, I see a lady with a big hat as a statue. Okay. Grand exposition. Yeah, they're playing music. Cool. This is a lot of, like, scenery for a whole lot of nothing attacking me. I'm surprised nothing's in here. 
I saw that uh, this had a mixed reviews on Steam, so how does it compare to the other games of the same genre for you? Oh, I think this is excellent, yeah. Um, I don't know what, like, I'm playing it through Xbox um, on PC, so, uh, yeah, I don't know what the Steam reviews look like. Um, I don't know if there's, like, technical problems with that version or what. Um, but, like, review-wise, I mean, this game's been pretty positive across the board, and as, as for me, I think this is uh, definitely the closest um, any company has gotten to emulating uh, a Dark Souls or FromSoft Soulsborne whatever um, with its own unique spin and being able to be, like, on the same level to an extent. Um, this is pretty damn good. I, I highly recommend this if you like the, the Souls franchise. All right, hey boys, there you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what? Oh wow, okay, you guys do not go far. Ah, shit. Oh, I broke his weapon too. Yeah, that's a sexy detail. I like that a lot. Did you see that? I snapped his sword in half. Pumpkin pens, ahoy! People actually used to wear those in the shoe. Uh, yeah, I was. We watched um, Shrek 2 in the Discord. And, uh, you know, it was like the, the scene where. Oh, the saw dog! Oh my god. Um, it was like the, the scene where, like, you know, Shrek is uh, stealing, like, the guy's outfit and it doesn't fit right away. And it was just, like. You know, back in the day with like high society and like the ruling rich class and that kind of thing. Looking back at it, the opulence of their fashion, obviously extravagant and extra, but incredibly ugly to an extent. Like what? Why did, why did they dress like that? Why were they wearing powdered wigs? You look stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like rich people have terrible fucking taste. Expensive taste. Like, of course they're gonna, like, you know, glitz and glamour up all of their fucking uh, wardrobes with a bunch of stolen jewels, right? Um, but, like, just the, just the way it looks and, like, how it functions is just goofy, you know? <laughs> it's just goofy as shit. It's like, why is it so extra? Because they don't have to, you know, mingle with, like, normal society, you know? They can literally dress themselves up as fucking clowns because they're not expected to do anything else except sit and stare and, like, sit there, right? Product of their time. Absolutely product of their time. And product of bad taste. <laughs> yeah, even IRL. Look at Coachella. Rich people never change. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, cool. What's over here? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, okay, that's you. That's what's over here. I thought it was going to be a little surprise. It's not. Yeah, to set themselves apart from the filthy unbathed peons. Yeah, that's basically it, though. You know, it was a form of just, like, a power move. It's like, look how opulent and grand I look and how cartoonishly hilarious I am. You'll never get this way. <laughs> The Hunger Games, uh, yeah, The Hunger Games is barely satire. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's true, though. It's just, like, when it comes to just general, like, you know, rich people having bad taste is just kind of part of the course with them, huh? And I'm talking, like, op, like, rich people, rich people, okay? Not someone who's, like, I'm an entrepreneur who, like, made a decent amount of money in my life, you know what I'm saying? And have, like, a nice car. I'm talking, like, rich people who have been rich, have no taste, have never, like, rubbed shoulders with anybody working class in their entire life, you know? Old money rich. Those people have terrible taste. Uh, what's the topic of discussion today while you play the boys who lies? Hi, Scotty, how you doing? Uh, that, uh, rich people have shitty taste. <laughs> That's what it's ugly. It's extra. Oh, oh, yonder wealth flex. Mm-hmm. Okay, keep it. All right, now she wants out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's always hoping I'll keep the door open the second she leaves. Nope, I can't. Yeah, meanwhile, the majority of my wardrobe is t-shirts and shorts, and I get compliments all the time. Take that, the rich. Mm -hmm. I always think about that scene, too, in, like, The Devil Wears Prada, where, uh, uh, what's her name? Anne, Anne Hathaway's character, she, like, scoffs at them, like, trying to put together this outfit with, like, a blue sweater and a belt. And then they're, like, you know... She's like, oh, I don't, I don't really get all this stuff. And she's like, stuff? This stuff? And then, you know, uh, uh, what's her name? Fucking, um, Miranda, whatever her name is. 
uh, oh man, why am I blanking so hard right now? Meryl Streep's character, you know, goes on this entire, like, long paragraph, uh, long speech about the history of this blue sweater and how eventually it, like, worked its way down, you know, gradually over time to the discount bend at some, like, random ass store. And it's true, again, like, the trickle down effect of fashion is that, like, most of the time we're, you know, there's, like, cheap fashion for, for, you know, for the average person and stuff, and then there's, like, rich bitch shit. But it's, like, you know, there's some companies that charge, like, like, what, $200 for a black t-shirt? Like, what do you, what? <laughs> also, hey, big boy. Anyway, how do you feel about the style of the rich? Oh, God, okay. All right, I have an idea. Another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's mad. Hold on. Back it up. Back it up. Oh, that was close. Okay. Hey! Nice place to go here. No, that doesn't work on you. Of course it doesn't. Oh, damn Oh, I thought I blocked that. Shit! That was close. No! Put it in perspective, the current Prime Minister of the UK didn't know how to use a hammer. The rich are, uh, are an funny joke. Yeah, God. That's, okay, again, it was not even, like, an unpopular opinion and stuff. Like, I am of the belief, I, I've, I've been of the belief, I will be of the belief, continue to the end of time, all right? The jobs that, like, nobody wants to do in, like, low-paying jobs should not be low-paying fucking jobs, all right? Shit's ridiculous. If you use your hands in any type of jo job whatsoever and you're doing hard labor each day, you need to get paid, like... A well over a living wage, you know what I'm saying? And I'm talking living wage. I'm talking like, you know, uh, one bedroom apartment, the works, full, you know, grocery, uh, uh, fridge full of groceries, bills paid, and some extra money on the side for whatever the fuck you want. Even a house. Hell, throwing a house in there, I don't care. I want these people to thrive, okay? They're doing all the hard work, and yet they're not compensated. What's up with that? <clears throat> Let's see. All right, really? I didn't even get a stargazer? I have to go all the way back here? Shit, okay, I guess I didn't, was not keeping my eyes peeled for the stargazer. Wait, what, where is it, this way? Okay. How can you not know how to use a hammer? Yeah, seriously. Yeah, I work sanitation for a grocery store. I deserve 25 an hour for all the shit I have. Well, and just the amount of time it goes into it, too. I, I, you know, I'm of the belief, and especially for the sake of, like, a sound economy, not to be that person, not to school you on the economy, y'all, but, like, when the average worker is not getting paid enough to live, they're also not getting paid enough to spend, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, and, uh, you know, to, like, keep the economy going. It's like, people, people, minimum wage should be well over, like, 20-some-plus dollars an hour at this point, you know? It's fucking ridiculous. Like, yes, I do want burger flippers to make as much to buy a house. I do think that's an appropriate amount of money. Sorry, you're spending eight hours a day doing something. You should get compensated for it with a living wage. Like, God forbid, God forbid we give money money to people to live off of. Ah. Anyway. Yeah, as someone who worked as a bagger for, you know, about a year or so, it was like, you know, it was, it was fucking hard-ass work. Like, physically, it was exhausting, you know? And I would, like, I knew it was bad, and I knew I, I deserved to get paid more because I was bagging groceries in my sleep. Like, in my dreams, I would be bagging groceries. That's bad. That's not good for me, all right? I should get paid more. Not, not get paid, like, less than a thousand bucks a month. It was ridiculous, you know? Yeah, capitalists are stupid, don't even get their own system. Well, that's what I don't understand, or at least, like, this smug elitism of... Because of, a lot of capitalists look down at working class people because they're like, oh... Yeah, especially with all this fucking opulence hanging around. Um, you know, they, they look... A lot of them look down on working folks as like, oh, you deserve to be poor because you weren't as smart as me and made your own business and became an entrepreneur. Wrong, Okay. Someone has to be in those working positions. Why are you looking down at people who have to fill the job for you to succeed? What? You know, it's like, it's like people who, and I also don't get this as well, and folks who are like, oh, you know, burger flippers, blah, 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 blah. You know, they should only get paid minimum wage because it's like a teenager's job. And if you want to get paid more, you should just go be a manager. Like, 
we all can't be the manager. Somebody has to fill the job, you know? So it's like this dumbass thing where it's like, oh, you know, just because you're like technically at the bottom of the ladder means you just deserve to like starve to death. It's ridiculous. Someone has to be there. You know? Anyway, guys, sorry. The rich, rich rank always gets me here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it can't function without exploiting the working class, I know. And again, it's just common sense. It's like back in the 50s where it's like, you know, where they're like, ah, oh, the prime economy days. It's like people got paid a lot. They had a pension. They had retirement. They had all these benefits that came with the job, that kind of thing. We don't got none of that now. Shit sucks. Shit sucks out here. Anyway, guys, I feel for you. I feel for you. I'm blessed every single day. I've been playing video games and yelling to the sky. And y'all reciprocate and you like hang out with me and uh, get our gamer on out here. But when it comes to just like, you know... <laughs> I'm all for everybody getting paid more. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, let's see if I can do the timing. Ooh! All right, new, new idea. Oh, damn it. Right, bu -bu 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 -bu. One, two. Damn it. Oh my god, swing. All right, fuck it, three. I don't want to use all of them at once. There it is. All right, cool. And... I'm not risking it. Die! Die! Die, zombie! Woo Got it. <laughs> Bada bing. To freedom. Anyway, guys. To freedom! Anyway, you guys like my pantaloons? Anyway. To think of this conversation came from making fun of clown costumes. That's out on ADHD. I got it on the mind. <laughs> I bet this puppet thinks about the Roman Empire a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just glad that the unions and protests paid off with the, the, the actors guild and all that. Yeah, me too. And, you know, even then, like, some people said that the contract from the union stuff wasn't enough, but um, it's a start, you know, it's, it's, a good, it's a good way to flex power in the sense it's like, hey, you're nothing without the people that prop you up, you know, uh, corporate overlords. I hope you know that, you know, like you make money on our watch and <laughs> it's our wrist, so... I've spent 20 years in retail slash customer service. Like, I probably talk down people better than most police negotiate. Absolutely. I mean, that's, like, so much part of the job is just dealing with, like, difficult people. I once had a woman call me up at my grocery store because, like, where I worked, um, I worked at Vaughn's for anyone who knows, but um, uh, uh, I was actually in a union with them, which was nice. Um, you know, they, they basically just had a person come through every now and then and ask if, you know, how, how was everything and if we were getting our breaks, which was nice. Um, but, you know, when it came to, like, just managing people, that's like, yeah, physical labor's one side, and then just, like, tolerance of just random folks. I had a lady call in the store once to ask me the different type of gelato flavors that they had, and I had to spend 15 minutes on the phone with this lady. And again, I have shit to do. Um, but, you know, she asked me to go read them out, all of the fucking you know, ice creams that they had, gelatos that they had, and of course, you know, I'm, I'm putting the charm on, and I'm trying to read these things, and I'm like, oh, I'm dyslexic, it's kind of hard, and she was having a ball just, like, explaining to me how you spell these things and how you pronounce these things, and mind you, it wasn't a terrible interaction, it's just, just some, like, you know, what, what kind of skill is that? And of course, I had, like, you know, dumbass people, like, drop things on their feet and then trying to blame us, you know, and things like that. Had a lady try to get six things of wine, and dropped one on her foot uh, inside the, like, uh, and it didn't shatter, luckily, but she, like, slammed it on her foot while she was checking out. And I went above and beyond to look at her and be, like, reach my hand out and say, ma'am, are you okay? Do you need help? Again, verifying that she got, you know, that she messed up or she hurt herself. She looked at me and she says, I'm okay, I'm fine. Fast forward, the store gets a complaint that she injured herself and that no one came to help her. 
And then I had to fill out a fucking report being like, that's not what fucking happened, okay? Because, <laughs> like, I knew that if someone injures themselves in the store, you have to, like, immediately follow up on it and be like, you know, are you... All Again, this was from no fault of the store. She dropped the ball... She dropped the, the, the wine on her own foot. It's not like, you know, there was, like, stuff on the floor or anything. She just fucked up. And so, like, I had to verify, are you all right, ma'am? And she said, yeah. And then we just went on business as usual. And then the next day, we get a complaint that I didn't do anything to help her. And I'm like, oh, my God. Luckily, I didn't get in trouble. You know, I, got, I just had to, like, give my own little report of, like, what actually happened and stuff. And nothing came of it. But it's just weird shit like that. <laughs> you know? Looking for a lot of shoes. You weren't going to get it on my watch. I knew that. I knew. I was like, ooh, that's why I asked. <laughs> and then I got her a wine carrier after. So it's like, bitch, fuck you. I don't know if someone just like whispered in her ear. Like, I think she just messed up. And then, you know, just like, yeah, a little normal interaction. And then after the fact, maybe someone was like, oh, you should try to sue them. <laughs> you know? Anyway, my heart goes out to anybody who works with the general public. I do think it's like... In a perfect society, that would be, like, a necessary thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, everyone would have to work a normal retail job at least for one year just to have to deal with a random public. Just a little bit. Where the hell- okay, do I just- I can't just be- just go through the door, right? I want to explore everything. He's got a little shortcut over here. Hold on. Fucking Karen, yeah. <laughs> I did three years at hard labor at Walmart and actually got the entire upper management fired for being sh- Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Are you, like, sneaking shit? Are they stealing stuff? Okay, I guess I'm really playing the tunes. Okay, I'm just looking around, making sure I got everything. Alright, let's go. I had a person try to smuggle cough syrup to make drugs uh, with at the store I worked at. I let him walk out of the building and it's his pocket before calling the police! Got his ass. I, I was, one of the coolest moments I, I was like, it was so sly too, because like, you know, people I worked with um, were like super old and had been at the store for forever. My manager, um, he was a, a interesting guy, but he was nice to me. And somebody had come in through the store with one of those giant like um, uh, grocery, like fabric bags, you know what I'm saying? Like the ones where you like bag your own. They came in the store and loaded up this, this massive tote bag with nothing but cheese and coffee. Like, blocks of a really expensive, like, $20 cheese a pop. And they were trying to, like, very sly, you know, walk past the, walk through the door. And just, you know, because like, you're not allowed to chase people, obviously, because it's for the safety of the employee. Um, but uh, they were just trying to slip out the front door. And as they were walking through the front door, my manager was walking across and literally just grabbed it out of their hand. Like, like not even fight them. He just snatched it as fast as can be. And the person just bolted through. And he didn't even react. Like, he just did it. Like, you know, he was just, like, picking up anything. And it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> no fight. No, no altercation. No struggle. He just snatched it. And the guy knew right away. And he just ran out the door. And it was so crazy. And someone, like, I was shocked. I was like, what the fuck happened? And he just gave me this giant tote bag full of coffee and cheese. And he said, put this back. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> And that's that on experience, okay? You know, I want to see some some rich bitch uh, CEO try to pull a move that smooth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Literally not today, buddy. <laughs> Hold on. Who is the small Victorian homosexual? Hi, RJ. You like my little pantaloons? Well, I'm about to, we're about to open up this door. Sorry, we're distracted. We're talking about uh, being working class struggles. Uh, when I worked at Walgreens, I had a guy waiting in the, uh, to be rugged out, um, and he only had one thing, but the lady before him was couponing and was, uh, the only register open. When we finally finished and came up and started, uh, cursing me out for taking so long with her, and when I tried to ring up the one thing he had, it came up, and this item has been recalled, and I laughed at his face, and he stormed out! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I love instant karma. A manager at the grocery store I worked at dragged a guy out by his feet and he tried to throw him. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't think, like, when it comes to loss prevention, obviously never put your life on the line for a handful of merchandise or, like, groceries. Um, but, you know, managers, like, yeah, some of them take it personally. But, yeah, the, the, I, I never saw any of my managers get into an altercation. But watching that happen in, in, like, a split of a second, and it was so fast, 
and it was so slick. I was just shook by it. And he was unfazed, you know? He didn't even say anything. I just saw, I just noticed it because I was looking over. Ah, uh, what? This big, nice door, and you won't even. Damn it! I dressed up! Let me in! Fuck you. <laughs> All retail workers should be allowed to kill one customer a day. I think that would keep people in line, yeah. Remember, if you see someone stealing, no, you did. In this economy? Oh my god, yeah. Look the other way, guys. Also, in my opinion, it's like these companies have spent millions and millions of dollars to replace workers with machines. Um, the increased amount of loss prevention, sorry, that's on you. You're insisting on removing people from the job, so you're gonna replace them with little machines so they can check themselves out. And is it really their, like, you're, like, uh, their fault that they just take it and go? No. It's like, we know they're price gouging, just, just, just honestly. <laughs> When my mom works uh, uh, and they tell them if someone calls and gets an attitude with them to tell them that they need to learn to act like a half-decent human who knows how to behave and then uh, can talk, hold on. Uh, and we can talk, uh, but until then, have a nice day. That's a good response. I work at a hospital now. Once I had the police bring someone in for an evaluation, she was being a horrible to everyone. The doctor rightly told her off and she called the police on the doctor and the, the coordinator phoned in her room. <laughs> I, I quit retail for all those reasons. Now I'm working on assembly line, which is equally uh, soul crushing, but at least I have benefits. Also, hi, I'm welcome on it. Welcome on it. And hell yeah. I, I'm sure I, it's no fun I'm, with the repetitiveness of line work. I, I was I was bagging groceries in my sleep, um, in my dreams and stuff. So I can only imagine them still. Hope you don't have to deal with the general public as much. <laughs> all right. Anyway, guys. See, OK, one small thing about the level design that does irk me um, about this game, and a few Dark Souls games do this as well, again, like Dark Souls 2, where it's like a wall of rubble you know, blocking you and, like, drain, drain, uh, uh, within the castle. But in this case, it's like, you know, there's no jump button, except for, like, the little run and skip thing. And it's like, just climb over it. Oh, God, this is, this, this bothered me so much in every video game ever. It's like, you can't get past here. There's a box. There's a box that, that's your height, and look at this. A box perfectly capable of being stepped up on. You know? To, like, go over it. Yeah, Bloodborne does this. A lot of games that have no jump do this as well. It's just this very simple barrier. Ugh. A, a pile of rubble or crates? No! <laughs> oh, oh, fuck! We'll never get out of here! Yeah, 7 Remake, this box will stop here. I think any game that does it, I think, is, is, is annoying. Okay, I, I didn't realize it was uh, right here. I'm silly. I'm dumb. Okay, it's making track out of everything. Sorry, guys, I got distracted. Hope everyone's having a good one. For anyone who worked on, like, Thanksgiving and Black Friday, God bless you. Oh, nice. Nice! All right. Now we're going places. Okay, cool. So far, we've only seen these things falling off the tracks and, you know, big old being rusted and decay. Boomer ruin any chance of grocery shopping being a fun, friendly social event, right? Fun fact, did you know the symbol on the crest is the symbol of the Masons? I did not. The more, the more you know. Virgo is life. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, just making sure. Making sure I got everything. I still remember working in a gift shop back in high school, and one day an older couple came in, were very nice making small talk. After 15 minutes, they asked me if I could spread their son's ashes on the property, and I was so confused and concerned since they were holding their son's ashes while talking. Oh my god, that's... R Damn. They were long conning that. They were like, okay, we're gonna win over their trust first, okay? <laughs> and then we'll pop the question. Damn, I mean... I don't think you're allowed to do that, and I don't know, because a part of me is like, you know, who's going to notice? But at the same time, it's like there's health concerns that come with, like, spreading ashes around. But I'm like, I don't know. Was it sentimental to them? I don't know. That's, that's sad. They were just being polite, maybe, I guess. Ask the owner if... Uh-oh. Oh, oh, yeah, here we go. All right, that 
Oh, that look! Oh, it's like the big ball robot that beat the shit out of me earlier. Oh, fu oh, how f what fun! Everything's coming full circle. Everything's coming up, pee pee. Big empty room. Yeah. Well, here's the stargazer finally. Oh my god. Got my neck. Okay, hold on. Oh, ooh, ooh, and apples. Let me go grab. Let me go back real fast and grab the. Ah, uh, 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 do I keep going? Actually, hold on. Oh God, man, there's a lot of guys out here. Okay, one second. We're going back to Red Lobster really fast. One second. Teleport. Get some biscuits. Fuck biscuits. Have I been more effective? I would have uh, saved like seven years of my life not being stuck in retail slash minimum wage jobs and uh, be a, a police officer slash detective at the very, uh, if I haven't been, uh, hold on. <clears throat> but, 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 sorry, I'm kept, God, my dyslexia is messed up today. The very least, not only uh, do you have to feel more useful, just make a difference instead of working for a greedy company. Also, you would get a paid a living wage, have my friends escape my town by going to the military. And sure, yeah, military may not be ideal, but the very least they uh, got to be uh, got to experience life travel and gain useful skills. Yeah, and also get paid like, you know, not like an insane amount, but a amount better than minimum wage at the very least and stuff. Damn. Yeah, no, I feel that. I, 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 I'm a big advocate for I wish people, everyone, you know, their job is, uh, you know, rather it's working retail or again, being in the action and all that. Um, I just want people to live with dignity and getting paid a decent amount is definitely a part, a part of that. You know, your environment is crucial. All right, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, the coin. All right, let me go back really fast. And let's go Let's go drop off that coin. You guys got some story. Worst thing that happened to me uh, was that there's some guy uh, called me creep while I was working and I was just minding my own business thanks for the self-esteem issue. Oh my God, people are so out of pocket. I try not to talk to people out, out and about. I try to just mind my own business. All right. Yeah, I do, I do minimal interactions as much as possible. Um, who the, I'm, I'm sorry, who the fuck is Father Time in the, in the corner there? What, what icon is that? Oh, it's the butler. It's the butler. The worst thing that happened, well, not to me, but I had one customer who asked uh, one of my workers' numbers and she was available. I want everyone to know she was 18, y'all, and the guy was 35 or 38 at least. Imagine how fast I call. Oh my god! Oh my god! It was just like, <laughs> no, no, we don't give out that information. Also, get out of here. Good lord. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, let's go talk to... I once had a drunk tourist try to strangle me with my own ponytail. I am not making the... Oh my god! What is wrong? No idea, so many and like, I believe it too! Just because like, people are an unhinged. Thanks for keeping me company. Oh, you're... Oh, okay, hold on. Yeah, you're not. Where's the... Hold on. What's her... What's her face? You said give the coin to who? Is that to the P? Where's she? The blacksmith? I can't remember everyone's name. I know my way around. Nope. Can't remember. At the house of oh, it's you! Oh, oh, I okay. I it's him. My bad. I don't I was reading that as Priscilla for some reason. I'm like, I don't remember coming across that person in particular. It's it's fucking Colonel Sanders. My bad. Strike a light. You found a commemorative coin. Why the, the game was telling me to go talk to him anyway. <laughs> I'm silly. The foundation is a sort of fan club, sir. A very limited number of these were minted for the original members. Minted? Well, once There's Master NFTs Benini and lies established the universe? himself as the <clears throat> Prince of High Society, his popularity skyrocketed. And his signature coat and glasses were mass produced. This is where what he's wearing, however, from the limited run. Take care of it, won't you? I will you do no such thing. Master Venini's lost collection. 
You've earned this small token of appreciation, sir. Thank Who? you. Yeah! Half Moonstone. House Thanks. of Vanini. Can I level this up? I know my way around. Nope. I need a full Covenant Moon. Hmm. All right. Let's go. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Teleport. Let's go to the movie. Let's go to the show. I worked in produce. I got asked by the 70 year old where the uh, shallots were. I didn't even know what the fuck a shallots were. And she got mad. How do you not know uh, what they are? Did your parents not teach you, et cetera, et cetera. It took my manager uh, my, to calm her down and show me where they were. He didn't know what they were either. Oh my God. And it's like, bitch, can't, don't you have eyes? Go look around. What normally what I did, like what I used to do is, um, or at least, like, I did it with my first day, is that people kept asking me where things were, and I'm like, it's my first day, I don't know. And every now and then I would interject with that, even though it wasn't my first day, just to get people off my back. They'd be like, oh, where is this? I'm like, I don't know, it's my first week here. And they're like, oh, okay. People way more understanding in that case. All right, here we go. Hey there, handsome. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, my, my god. Hey, 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 hey. I'm trying to get my timing down, buddy. Be nice to me. There it is. I don't know what shallots are. I only know now because um, we actually had to get some for Thanksgiving, so. <laughs> Wait, you also had a crazy retail store. Is that something about someone uh, stealing and threatening you guys? Oh, no. It, like, no one ever threatened us. Um, oh, first of all, this looks fucking terrifying. Oh, this is the fuck machine. Get a lot of that. Um, no, I like. I, I never had. Well, I kind of had one where like we got threatened a little bit. Um, I don't want to go too deep into some of these because like one of them like legit freaked me out. Ah, like that. <laughs> Bro. Okay, I don't know. I'm just staring at it at this point. Hey. It's done. There we go. That's what I like these things for. <laughs> Come on. Woohoo! Got his ass. And that's why we have these things in our pocket. Um, yeah, no, I had a few instances. One of them were funny. Other ones was, like, a little scary, where, um, at least the funny one is I was the only ch uh, cashier, uh, and, uh, you know, it was, like, really late at night. We were, like, closing in, like, half hour. And a guy just walked in, grabbed a beer off the shelf, looked at me, and then just left. Because it's like, he literally is like, what are you going to do? And then just, and I'm like, what could I do? I was behind the cashier. I'm not chasing him for a beer. So, you know, and it's, and a lot of people just know that because it's like, you know, they also work in these jobs where it's like, you're not, you're not allowed to chase them because it's like, you're not, I don't want to fucking die out here because I don't know if the guy's got a gun or a weapon. Um, and, uh, you know, it's like, I mean, I ain't dying for a fucking brewski. You know what I'm saying? Another instance, though, was uh, was kind of an accident on my part. Well, I didn't really do anything. It's just what my manager told me to do, and I fucked up. Um, is, uh, uh, you know, we had, like, these tables outside of the store, and some uh, some scary-looking bald guy, who I, you know, uh, uh, like, he was, uh, he was a fella. He was a big guy. Um, and uh, uh, we were pretty sure he was a drug dealer, because, again, it's just how he looked and all that. Um, but he had a backpack that he left overnight. And I brought it in um, because it's like, oh, this is, like, you know, lost and found. And I brought it to my manager. And they looked inside the backpack, which you're not supposed to do, but whatever. Um, and my manager looked into it. And it clearly was, like, drug dealer shit. Like, it had drugs in it. Um, and uh, I, they just said, put it back. Just put it back outside and leave it. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, I, I guess. Like, you know, why can't we just... Uh, sorry, I don't, I don't care if the guy's a drug dealer. It's his stuff. Okay, he left it here. We, we should just, just follow the standard lost and found procedure. Put it in a box and forget about it and hope they show up. Um, and so I put it back where it was. And then fast forward, the guy came into the store asking if there was a backpack. And me thinking the backpack was still where it was, gleefully was like, oh yeah, it's back out here. I think I saw one. And then we came out, backpack's not there anymore. Someone took it. And then the guy's like, so you saw my backpack and you left it? And so after that, he like, and this guy had like a bulldog with him. Um, and, and I'm again, I'm out here standing like trying to just, 
we should have kept the fucking bag and the lost and found, but whatever. And and so like I was fucking terrified because now this guy's got a grudge against me, thinking I'm like the one who left it there, you know, not letting him. And then my manager like apologized to me later about it, but I was like, you know, I tried to come up with some fast excuse and shit. But it was it was just one of those instances. It was like, why did we look inside the man's backpack? Why did you do that? My manager was so stupid for doing that. Just leave. Just put it in the lost and found with everything else that we put there, you know. Anyway, it was it was scary because like I didn't and I, I asked my coworker to come out and walk me to my car because I wasn't sure if I was going to get jumped later. You know what I'm saying? Because like, he looked like one of those guys. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, no, but thank you for the 47 <laughs> saying howdy bonds. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a, uh, had a nice uh, plate of giving and I'm happy uh, because I get to eat a sugary fruit up again because I am no longer dying. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, 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 Here's a little treat. Uh, <laughs> Maybe thank you for the 47, uh, for the 44, keeping it in our own, keeping it going. Very nice. This place is cool. Sorry, I'm getting, we're all getting distracted now by our retail stories. And what the fuck is that up there? Oh, that's a big guy. Those, are, those look like shield arms. Oh, it's another shield fella. I'm glad you moved away the hell <laughs> you were. I, I, like, it wasn't bad. It was like, you know, it was like the, the uh, uh, you know, the city, like the university part of San Diego and all that. It was fine and all. And like most of the people that came to my store were like grandmas. It was like the blue hair central. But, you know, every now and then we get someone to come in and, you know, look like they got trouble. So. I'm just like, why did we check his bag? Why did we, why did you do that? Why did you do that? We could have just given him his bag and just let things be. Okay. Instead. I don't know if I, I, this guy's like, you know, still holding the grudge against me today. Um. Hmm. Man, you guys are. <laughs> I swear. I, I'm so sorry. Everyone's got all these stories to tell. We should not be telling these tales, guys. Why are people. Why do people act the fuck up like this? Hmm. <laughs> Can I open this up? No, I can't. All right. Sorry, okay, I'm looking at chat one second, y'all. Okay, let's actually- video games, video games. Okay, we gotta make progress. Alright. First of all, hey ladies, love the figure. Very milfish out here. Alright, yeah, Grand Expo- Alright, let's go up the stairs. Looking dapper, thank you with my pantaloons. Also, Reggie, thank you for the dollar saying, done with the customer during Thanksgiving, an assistant manager talked to me about it. Uh, if something happened, have another employee hop in to register. And he gave me an example. If I had a, a, a bandaid on my finger and the customer refuses me um, out of fear of AIDS. Oh my God, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Reggie, thank you for the dollar. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Want to get AIDS on your stuff now, don't you? All right, here we go. Oh. What? Oh yeah, it's these guys. Hold on. Yeah. Play ball! Ow! Okay, how am I supposed to stop that? I'm getting staggered left and right. Hold on. I have a plan. We throw balls back. Ow! God! Okay. Didn't work out. Alright, that's one. That shit, bro. Oh, okay. There we go. All right, now. Didn't mean to do that. All right, meant to do this. Hey, now it's just us, buddy. What's up? What's popping, baby? Ah, shit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's try to see if I can get my timing on. All right, guys, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be quiet. I gotta be quiet. Oh! That doesn't seem to help. Bro, you know what? Fuck you. Let me get from the back. There we go. Ah! Clean! <laughs> that was good. Yeah, we're all trauma bonding over our retail experience. Good lord. This. 
I've seen some of the inventory taking robots at stores things with a nuisance. You know what I don't understand at grocery stores? And just like some some of them have them, some of them don't. Um, but you know, it's like the freezers, it's like normally glass is clear and you can see right through it. Why the fuck are like half of these grocery stores now have digital displays on their glass doors to show you what item is behind it? It was transparent. And, like, they still have to update the fucking price thing behind the door anyway. Like, that's the only thing I, I, I can think of, of, like, it being practical, is that you can update the prices without having to physically move the sticker around, but they have the stickers anyway. Why the fuck do they have digital displays? Advertising? You're right, they do have advertising videos on them. But yeah, my grocery store changed them. Oh, purple? Oh, crank very nice. It's so fucking stupid. Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, instead of having just, you know, a clear glass door to show you what's in the freezer, they now have digital displays that show you what's behind the glass door. And, um, and they play advertisements in between stuff. And it's like, it's so fucking annoying. It's like, even, sometimes when you open it, it's like, they're out of the thing. But the display showed that they had it. It's like, oh, oh my god, it's so stupid. What a waste of money. Yeah, make sure the iPad kids can buy stuff in a few years. Yeah, what futuristic be- well, I've seen them in other places, too. It's not just my grocery store. I've seen them in a few places. But my groceries are recently replaced it. Like the drink aisle that they have with all the cold drinks. It's all digital displays. It was glass before. It's like, I'm not gonna feel more inclined to buy something because I saw it on the fucking, you know, side of a- uh, on a glass door. Like, you know, digital display. It's stupid. It's like, it's a grocery store. Do you need advertisement in the grocery store? Really? Like, I'm already there. I have eyes. Shit. The screens are a data mining ID harvesting feature so the retailers can track your ways the Sunday grade. Love this for us. Futuristic hellscape, y'all. Averts are fucking everywhere. I swear people are, are eventually going to have a tattoo uh, Amazon on their body to get a premium paid in order to, to live or some shit. Uh, it sure feels like it. I mean, um, apparently, like, Ubisoft came out with a report saying it was a glitch or something. But uh, there was footage running around of, like, ads interrupting, like, people's gameplay of, like, an Assassin's Creed or something with, like, ads being interjected into it. And I know 2K has done something similar in the past where it's like, you know... Like, again, and mobile games do this too. It's like watch an ad to get points or something like that. D fuck it, Twitch does this kind of shit. It's so stupid. They've gamified at, uh, ad watching. Can you imagine playing this video game and then a fucking ad for Hot Pocket shows up? Like, what? Dude, what am I supposed to do against this? Bitch, oh my god. Oh, hold on, let's pray. Let's wish upon a star that he kills himself. Go left? Okay. Like this left? Oh, there's a la- I did see the ladder, yeah. I don't know if that's the ladder I want to go down right now. One second. What if I could just go around? Okay, I've already been here, that's why. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is the way I came, gotcha. Just making sure. I'm getting turned around today, guys. Ranting and raving. <laughs> Didn't they used to give bits for any watch ads, but they stopped? I don't know, because I'm not afraid. I, I don't use bits all that much, but I know that was a thing people used to do. The day I lose a boss fight because of a fucking ad in the day I go dark and assassinate CEOs till I'm got right? <laughs> it's like after, it's like, a, and I fucking snapped. You know, I got a, I got a Diet Pepsi ad when I was playing... You know, Elden Ring 2, and then- and then I went crazy. And that's when I killed him, your honor! Oh, brother. Moving around, moving at the speed of sound, getting out of here, shoo shoo shoo. Shoo shoo shoo. Alrighty. Okay, and we got a ladder here. No, it's a bridge! Hey! 
Don't tell me this is the button that turned on all the devices and then everything is gonna go rogue and... Very nice. Wow, what a lovely robot lady. All right. I, I have to, oh shit, I have to call Cox customer service. Wish me, oh, the biggest salute to you. Best of fucking luck. Best of luck. Yeah, he had it coming. He had it coming. If you'd have been there. If you'd have seen it. If, oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, don't tell me you're real. Don't tell me you're fucking real. This thing's gonna attack me again. Resurrection! Champion victors have been returned. Oh shit. Okay, I don't feel like reading right now. Sorry, guys. Sorry, my hair stays on for now. I wanna, I wanna be a gamer. I wanna go game. Ugh. Goopy, soupy, extreme poopy. Okay, I don't have any of these, and I have no heals. This will go smoothly, I have a good feeling. What could go wrong, I whisper. Oh, brother. Oh, oh no, there's a few of them, okay. I try to get Ergo back. Ow, oh, crap, okay, we got the, yeah, we got the bus on the room. There we go. Ah! Ooh, 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 fuck corner, in the fuck corner. Moving around, moving around, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, we gotta desperately, can you go up the stairs? Hold on, hang tight. Ooh, there's a box, oh god, there's so much happening. All right, hold on. Oh, they can! <gasps> Tracking? Oh, no, okay, it figured it out. <laughs> it's learning! I think I noticed this before it was too late. He can! It's evolving! It does not seem to know what to do with the- f Oh, I was like, it doesn't know what to do with the slope. It knows what to do with the slope. Ah! Oh my god, die. Please die. I have an idea. <laughs> I'm very low health. I have nothing. Running, running, running. Where's the shortcut? Where's the shortcut? Oh man, this environment is so pretty. Okay, I don't have time to admire it. I'm like, let's get out of here. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is all this? Excuse me, excuse me. Can you come down the narrow path this way? Yeah? <gasps> oh, you can. Oh, God. That's quality engineering. It's slim. It was ringing. Oh, it's the Riddler. God, I don't have time. All right, all right, lemons ahoy, guys. If you know the answer preemptively, sound off in chat. I ain't missing on any of these, okay? My rid- Tis the time, Riddlers. Put your hats on. Put your thinking caps on. skinny. If your goal is to study the human condition, there's- Egg? Is it really egg? My got on you? Sorry, that really got stuck. Oh my god, just get on with it. Whatever it takes. What cannot be used before it breaks? Uh, an egg, obviously. Correct. See, wrong. Wrong. Obviously, they've never been invited to an egg toss before. That's like the whole point is to use it before it breaks. Egg or a bottom stop. Hey, you can hard boil an egg. This is a bad riddle. Thank God, thank God there's choices. Puppet spotty. Oh, it's a frightfully difficult question, huh? So I'll reward you with a hint. At the grand exhibition. 
information, you now must behold all ten fingertips of the woman of cold. Hmm? Look close before she escapes your notice. Then I'm done with you. Mostly. Oh. <laughs> he don't like me. He's just using me. The finger uh, tips of a cold woman at the Great Exposition. Thanks, I guess. The statue at the bottom of the series? Thank you. Thank you, Aurora. Yeah, he didn't rhyme. This guy sucks at his job. What's the vats? I guess it's full of the, the case dinky poopy juice? Death to ye, yeah. Alright. I'm guessing this looks like it. Hello, hello ladies. <laughs> Airing out, I see. Living fun and fancy free. Oh, is this it? Okay. Hey, bada bang. I've definitely missed some stuff. Oh, there's the Trinity key. Got it. To freedom. To freedom! Yeah, I've definitely missed a bunch of stuff in this area. I will double back off stream um, and, uh, and grab some things that I missed for sure. Okay. I'm gonna get a shit to them. Oh, damn it! Okay. Ow! Ow! <laughs> oh, God, they have guns. What the? Oh, that's gonna kick my butt. Where the fuck is the shortcut? Okay, I'm not fighting that. Oh my god. <laughs> Bitch. They're shooting! If you beat the boss here, there is a missable NPC. Note it. I don't think- I don't know if we'll beat the boss for today. I think we might get to the boss. You got little trains? No! Oh my god! Oh, I'm dead. I'm totes dead. That- that's it. GG. Oh my god. Where's the goddamn- Whatever, game. Whatever. Okay. Fucking hell. Alright. <laughs> what time is it? Y'all. Um, I'm definitely not feeling like- I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like I'm just, you know, post-Thanksgiving food comas or whatever. I'm not feeling the brightest right now. I feel like- I think what I'm going to do, because um, we've been going for about three hours or so, we've made some progress. We've got our foot in the door. This is definitely a, a progress stream. Just like, you know, getting through the next area. I think we're going to wrap it up here, because um, I have a few other things to do tonight uh, before I, before I got to go to dinner. I have not eaten. No, I think it's catching up with me. I ate, I ate earlier for my medicine, but it wasn't a lot. Um, so I think because we're going for about three and a half hours and, um, I want to, I want to really double back and like grab everything before it's too late for this next, I guess this next boss encounter. We'll start off the next stream with a boss fight. I think that sounds good. I got to go pet my cat. Absolutely. I do. Y'all thank you so much. Um, and I guess <laughs> you'll have to see these pantaloons in action next time. Yeah. <laughs>